and welcome to this final edition of Mornings. I'm Lauren Schwartz. And I'm Carlos Puentes. Today is Tuesday, May 26th, and a D-Day here at North Penn High School. Let's take a look at my very last Brimbaugh Challenge. I'll have the pleasure of editing. Hey, welcome to this week's Brimbaugh Challenge. We've got a special treat here. We're doing a double challenge with my buddy, Mr. Haley. Say hi to everyone, Mr. Haley. Howdy, folks. All right, here goes. I'm going to ask a question about him, and he's going to ask a question about me. Are you guys ready? Here we go. What place did Mr. Haley come in in the Hokey Pokey contest at the Jimmy Buffett concert in 2007? And the Mr. Brumball question is, when he was a wee tot, when he was a young man, he used to live close to a former U.S. Supreme Court justice. What was the name of that Supreme Court justice that Mr. Brumbaugh used to play football with in the man's yard? The answer when we get back. Yesterday was Memorial Day. In the midst of the numerous parades in our area and the larger ceremonies in Washington, D.C., the North Penn High School Key Club held a ceremony for our own North Penn soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice. At the corner of Church and Penn Street stands a memorial for 18 North Penn High School students who gave their lives serving our country. The Key Club has been responsible for the creation and maintenance of this memorial garden and each year holds a ceremony to remember our graduates. Each of the 18 soldiers' names was read and the bugle sound of taps echoed through the air. Please take a moment this morning to remember those 18 students who, at your age, gave everything. James W. Holiday, class of 61. Congratulations to North, Penn, to North Penn student Georgie Eck for receiving the Jet Memorial Invitation Program Grant Award. The program was created to honor two American teachers who lost their lives during the 2011 Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami disaster. Georgie was given the opportunity to visit Japan to participate in exchange with Japanese students and act as a symbolic bridge to enhance goodwill between Japan and the United States. Georgie's excellent academic standing, an outstanding essay composition, and her exceptional performance in a Skype interview in Japanese led to the award of this scholarship. From our previous show, Terrell is back to fight the night. You know, Terrell, I heard all this night talk about this challenge, and it's about time we look where I am. So here's what we'll do, okay? You want, you want to face me in basketball? Yes. Let's do this thing. All right? Get over there. This year's North Penn Baseball Senior Day was no ordinary event as players celebrated along with a mentor that has affected them in a positive way during their years at North Penn. Take a look. Well, today's our senior day, traditional uh, end of the season game where we honor our seniors. Um, and basically, you know, it's an opportunity for us to, to honor them for all the work they put in for three years here. And they come out with their parents and receive a special gift from the program. But today, we have a special edition. We've asked each senior to select a teacher of inspiration who has inspired them at some point during the course of their schooling in North Penn School District. And so our 15 seniors have selected 15 different teachers from elementary school, middle school, and high school. And we're thrilled to death to have all 15 of those teachers here today. It's kind of a culmination of everything that their families, their families, faculty members and their peers have done to get them to this point here at the end of their student athlete career. So beautiful day for baseball. It's a game with big implications and a great day to honor everybody. Well, I got an email from the coach Monero about one of the players, Douglas Apple, uh, honoring me uh, for this year. And uh, I thought it was a, I felt privileged. So I wanted to make sure I made an effort to get over here as soon as possible. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very honored. So it was, it was nice. I was so excited. I have never been so honored in my life. I am just thrilled beyond words. A lot of the players were really excited to have the opportunity to pick a favorite teacher, and the responses I got from the teachers were overwhelming. Uh, some teachers said they were moved to tears that they were thought of by a kid who maybe they didn't have uh, any time in recent history. It could have been somebody from elementary school. So, yeah, there. If I think for both sides, the teachers and the students, it's just an awesome opportunity to say, "Hey, thanks so much for everything," and probably that's a mutual feeling from teacher and student. Uh, first Thank, you. Well, yeah. Thank you for picking me. Yeah. I really appreciate. Uh, it. 
Mr. Monero himself is here in the studio this morning with a U.S. Naval officer to present a very special honor to two North Penn students. Mr. Monero. Thank you very much, Lauren Schwartz herself. I am here with Commander McDonald from the United States Naval Academy. To my left and to my right, Ben Hoffman and Ali Valenti, who are here this morning to receive a very special recognition from Commander McDonald as these two upstanding North Penn students get set for the experience of their lifetime beginning on July 1st. Commander? Yes, good morning. As you said, my name is Commander J.P. McDonald, and I'm the Blue and Gold Officer from the U.S. Naval Academy. <clears throat> it's my distinct pleasure to have the opportunity today to recognize the significant honor that Ben Hoffman and Ali Valenti have earned by receiving an appointment to the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. This year, Ben and Ali were two of more than 16,000 students from throughout the nation who applied for one of only approximately 1,300 appointments to the Naval Academy's class of 2019. The admissions process is very unique and requires each student to apply for and receive a nomination, most commonly from their congressman or senator, complete a thorough medical exam, and successfully pass a physical fitness evaluation in addition to the usual submission of transcripts, recommendations, and essays. Screening is thorough with a focus on well-rounded individuals who have demonstrated leadership, potential, and willingness to accept responsibility as well as ex outstanding academic credentials. An appointment to the U.S. Naval Academy is equivalent to a full four-year scholarship, including all tuition, room and board, medical and dental benefits, and a monthly midshipman salary. After completing the four-year curriculum at the Naval Academy, students receive a Bachelor of Science degree in one of 24 majors and earn a commission as an officer in either the United States Naval, uh, Navy or Marine Corps. North Penn should be very proud of Ben and Allie's achievements and on behalf of the Superintendent of the United States Naval Academy, it is my pleasure to present this certificate of appointment to both of them to start on July 1st. Thank you, Commander. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Ben Alley, this is obviously a tremendous honor. We just heard that incredible um, piece of information about how hard it is to get into this academy. So tell me about what you're looking forward to most as you guys start up on July 1st when most people are chilling out in Wildwood or something like that. Well, I'm looking a lot, uh, forward a lot to the uh, camaraderie that I'll have amongst the other midshipmen and the friends I'll make and the bonds I'll have mm -hmm. um, because we'll be going through a lot of difficult challenges, but ultimately we'll be getting a very, uh, very magnificent education and uh, a uh, great experience through the military, so I'm looking forward to that. How about you, Allie? I was going to say the same. I think everyone is bonding together through something that's really hard and being able to like relate to other people, something that's going to be really good. When Commander, can they handle it? I think they're both ready and prepared to do it. So, Outstanding. Well, guys, good luck to you very much, and I'll, we'll be checking in to see how things go. Have a great summer working hard that's right. as, you, as everybody else is kicking back. All right, great job. And we will send it back to the desk. We have more to come from the floor in just a little bit. Thank you, Mr. Monero. With the end of the year almost here, some important dates for seniors to remember are Tuesday, June 2nd for Senior Awards Night, Class Night including the debut of the Senior Class Video on Friday, June 5th, Reflections on Wednesday, June 10th, and Graduation Day on Thursday, June 11th. To make these precious moments last a lifetime, make sure to go to northpennews.org for more information on ordering these events to, relieve, to relive these memories. Mr. Ramsey is back with this week's Weekly Word. Good morning. Welcome to the last Weekly Word of the Year. I'm Mr. Ramsey, and let's begin. This week's word is chimerical. It's an adjective. It means imaginary, but more than that, really so wildly fantastical that it's staggeringly improbable, implausible, maybe even impossible, absurd, existing only in the most unrestrained imagination. And I thought of this word because I'm so excited to read this book this summer. I hope you have something you're going to read this summer too. This is What If? Serious Scientific Answers to Absurd Hypothetical Questions. We might even say the questions are chimerical. So find yourself a book, read it over the summer, and seniors, congratulations. The rest of you, I'll see you next year on The Weekly Word. This past weekend, North Penn track and field competed in the state championships in which the North Penn 4x400 team took home the gold medal. North Penn finished third overall in the state for total points at the meet. In other sports action, the North Penn volleyball team qualified for state playoffs through their district tournament last week. 
The North Penn baseball team will continue their run in the district playoffs later today when they face off with Westchester East in the semifinals at Springford High School. The team is automatically qualified for state playoffs for making it this far in the district tournament. Unfortunately, the North Penn softball team was not able to advance in the district playoffs after a loss to Avon Grove last week. North Penn finished with a very successful season after claiming the conference title. Let's throw it back to fight the night. Play. Play. Oh, here's this week's I Know Funny. Good morning, I'm Mr. Wilson. It's time for the joke of the day and the last one for the year. What did the pencil say to the paper? I dot my eyes on you. I'm Mr. Wilson. Have a good summer. The annual art show is coming back again later this week as North Penn heads toward the end of the school year. You can visit the North Penn Gallery of Art tomorrow night or this Thursday night from 6 to 9 p.m. in the, the K-Pod Concourse, Gym, and J-Pod. Artwork created from students across the district from kindergarten to 12th grade will be present. The show features a multitude of media including painting, photography, computer animation, sculpture, and much more. Here's this week's question of the week. Going to the beach. Oh. Oh. Fishing. Working at Pump, Pump It up. up. Going swimming. <laughs> Working at Wawa. Senior week. I'm going to math camp. Hawaii. I'm camping this summer. Going to Germany. Getting ready for college. Firefly. <laughs> Senior week. Going on tour. Go to the beach. Boating. I'm working out all summer. Going to raves. Partying. Partying. I'm hanging out with my cats. I can't wait to go camping with my friends. <laughs> and God, I can't do this. <laughs> Mr. Fluck and Mr. Fry sign off for the year in this final edition of Fitness. Good morning and welcome to Fitness with Fry Flock and, and Fry. We'd like to thank you for tuning in this entire season and making us the highest rated NPTV morning show ever. I always wanted to be, I always wanted to be on the morning show. It's been a lot of fun. Well, here we are. Yeah. But uh, it's really not us that we should be thanking. There's really people behind the camera who've really been helping us out. Also, thank you, Alexa Duffy, even though we haven't seen you in months to help out with the show. Mr. Fry, with the summer coming up, what are your plans? What do you got going on? Uh, I don't know. Probably get to the beach a little bit, swim, try to exercise, try not to gain too much weight over the summer. Mr. Fry, yeah. you look great, buddy. Thank you very don't much. Worry I appreciate about it. it. Now, while you're at the beach, what's it important to remember? Uh, oh, you always have to put on sunscreen. I remember that. Uh, stay hydrated. Those are my two big ones. <laughs> Those are your two yeah. big ones. Try to wear a hat too and cover up as much as possible. All right, stay out of the sun, especially during midday when it gets really hot. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna be doing any outdoor activities, please stay safe. We wanna see you back here at North Penn High School in one piece. And seniors, best of luck to you with your future journey. Now, Mr. Fry, working with you this season has been a complete pain. You are such a prima donna. Me? Yes. I think I'm the easy one to work You with. are late to tapings. We need to take four or five takes every single time. That's all. You always need your makeup done beforehand. I'm really getting sick and tired of you. You know what, Mr. Vlog, I'm gonna pull something out here that I learned in my pro wrestling days. Something I call the deep fryer. Mm. Thank you for tuning in to Fitness with Fluck and Fry. <laughs> that was good.
<laughs> yo, cut it. Yo, cut it. Shoulder. I go down. Get me. Uh, don't drop oh, me. Oh, there's all kinds of kids there. <laughs> Get my arms. <laughs> FBLA is continuing their annual North Penn Spirit t shirt design competition once again. Here are the finalists in the competition. Uh, there are final, the finalists in the competition that will be vo voted on by the students. The winning shirt will go on sale for $10 until the end of May following the competition. Make sure to email nptv at npen.org to place your vote in the contest. The winning student will receive a free t-shirt and a $25 Wawa gift, gift card. For the designs, we'll throw it over to Mr. Monero. Thank you, Carlos. Gotta love Carlos, everybody. Carlos and his final episode on the North Penn Morning Show. We're gonna miss him. Here are the designs for the North Penn official t-shirt. Here is design number one, the North Penn letters and the sword coming straight down, a very cool look. Design number two has the shield with the two swords coming behind it and a little knight head in the middle, also very nice. And design number three, the sword coming across with North Penn on the top and the bottom, and of course, the classic North Penn Knight logo in the top. So these are the three designs for the official North Penn t-shirt, and you can vote now at nptv at npenn.org for the winner of the official FBLA-designed t-shirt. And now, we're going to throw it back to the gym as we continue to fight the night with my man Terrell. Okay, Terrell. From a score of 3 to 2, I can't deny you won this. So, here's your vote. Sight! You won't win! The dude report's pretty funny this week. Let's have a look. All right, so what do you have so far? Well, it's kind of a slow lead in, but I think you'll like it. Right. I think we're going to put this as the first track. I think that's going to work. Second? No, first, it's a, it's a good oh, intro. The point? The point? And then we're going to add a new vocal for the next song. Okay, that works. We can do that. Yo, guys, uh, can I talk to you about something real quick? Uh, it's kind of about how I fired you and everything. Well, speaking of fire, are you here to join our band? Band? Yeah. We're called the Rude Deportment. But you guys have no musical talent. We have like two hit songs, like Mikey Ramo and Connor Screams for three minutes. So I was actually gonna talk to you about maybe getting back in the Dude Report. Well, I think we're really busy with this band, right, Mikey? Now I'll come back. Sweet. Are you serious? Yeah, we do all the episodes that we wanted to do. Like, the dude reports get stuck in the elevator, the re-elevating, the dude's oh, party with BTH, God. the dude's on ice. Oh, well, all right, wait, Ethan, um, I forgot to tell you one thing. You can't not be in the dude report. I can't fire you, and in turn, you also can't quit. Great. Yeah, so, um, let's make our next episode for, um, Wait, what, what's today? May 26th, why? T today's the last dude report. Oh. Oh, well then. Yes, I guess I, we're done then. I, I had a really oh, good time. Funny. I'm glad we yeah, I can't, I can't say the same. Um, I'm out of here though. There you go. I'll go to Wawa. I have to go this way. But guys, what about our mixtape? Now that I'm at a whole new school, I don't have to worry about the dude report being a thing ever again. So in this edition of the Dolan Ramo Report, mm -hmm. also known as the DR Report. Or Dude we, Report. No, that's taken. Oh. Uh, we'll be exploring Temple Camp. See that? What? What is that? Is that? Oh my god, it's Ethan! Ethan! Oh my god, 
can't believe we found you. No. Oh my no. God, you're I, here? Yeah. Yep. Why are you here? I go here now. What? We go here too. Me and Mikey. Oh, perfect. This, do you know what this means? What do, does do, it mean? Do you know what this means? We don't have to end the dude report. I think, no, we can no. Do dude report season 11. No, I don't. It's going to be season 10. It's going to be season 10. Season, part, season zero. 2. Season 10 part season 2. No. Oh my god. I can't believe this is happening. Me neither. <sighs> but we're going to have a great year. Oh yeah. Carlos might have lied about the funny part. For a behind the scenes tour of the morning show, here's Mr. Monero with Alexa Duffy. Carlos might have been lied about the funny part all year. Okay, North Penn, we are about to wrap it up here. You know, a couple years ago, Alexa Duffy was carrying the cord around behind the camera for the final episode for the tour of the studio. And just like that, here she is signing off in her anchor ship for North Penn Television. She is. Alexa, what's North Penn TV meant to you since you've been here? North Penn Television has meant so much to me. I've been anchoring since sophomore year. I remember my first football game being really excited and nerdy on camera, taking selfies with the headset on. I have learned so much through career study, and I love all my career study students who work with me every day, and it's been a pleasure. I like your professional um, anchor sport coat that you're wearing today. Um, we talk about that a lot here on the set of the morning show, the sport coats. Look, you know, it's a good look. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, Alexa, before I let you go, I just want to tell everybody to go to the baseball game today at Springford High School at 4 o'clock. <laughs> and now for the annual, instead of a cliffhanger at the end of the episode, a tour of the studio. I'd like to take us around North Penn Television. All right, everybody. So here we have... We have the camera, we have, we have two people on camera, and then we also have a camera here for interviews. We have Julie here, there's Chris. We, hold on, we're going to anchors here. Carlos and Lauren. We have Andrew and Matt also on camera. When we get around, they are getting the anchors. Say hi, Andrew and Matt, all right. We're going into the studio. <laughs> oh, it's a really crowded hallway, everybody, just so you know. It takes a lot of skill to navigate North Penn Television. See, I got the cord. All right, here we go. And here we are in the studio where everything happens. We have Ethan as technical director. We have Shane as director. He's still directing. Quadri as teleprompter. We have Mr. Mikey Ramo here on server. We have Drew Thompson, who's just here all the time to help out. We have Dakota over there doing Dr. graphics. And we have, come on, can we get a zoom in on this, please? Look at Tiffany here. This is Tiffany doing audio. Tiffany is wonderful. Do you see that person? All right. Awesome audio. Great. All right, everybody. So that was your tour of the studio for North Penn Television. Oh, and we also have Rachel here. Hello, Rachel. And of course, behind, we have Noah, who is wrangling the cords and mics. And so that is it for the tour for North Penn Television. Thank you. I hope everyone saw Mikey's face in the window at the door. Here's the answer to this week's Prumball Challenge. Hey, welcome back. The answers you've all been waiting for. At the Hokey Pokey contest, at the Jimmy Buffett concert in 2007, Mr. Haley came in second with his hokey pokey rendition in a grass skirt and a coconut bra. And Mr. Brumbaugh used to live right across the street from Byron Wizard White. Bet you didn't know that. How could you ever forget it now? Thanks for playing this week's Brumbaugh and Haley Challenge. There was no winner for this week's Brumbaugh Challenge. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You're supposed to sign off for yeah, us. Am I? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> Signing off for the final time, I'm Carlos Fuentes. And I'm Lauren Schwartz. Stay classy, North Penn. Wow. It's a legend.